You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have with me Steve Kelly, who is the chairman of the Brockton Democratic City Committee. Welcome, Steve. Nice to see you. Thank you, Mark. Um, got a big event coming up in the city for the Democrats. Uh, there's a caucus coming up on Saturday, Saturday March 3rd. Saturday, March 4th, at 11 o'clock, the doors will open. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be over at the Brockton High School. Doors open at 11 o'clock. We will have it at the Green Building, Green, uh, green Building. Green Building, second floor. On the second floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's open to every Democrat that wants to get involved. Now, what's interesting about this year's caucus is it's brand new, okay? You can be a Democrat up until the day of the caucus, before you had a deadline and you had to have been a Democrat by the 31st of the month, you can actually register online same day, correct? Yes. We, okay. were, we will be using uh, Secretary, the Secretary of State's app to register people there, okay. if we can get the uh, can get internet the connection. Internet to work. Um, the other thing is the Democratic Party is encouraging young people who will be 18 by September 11th, 2018, if I'm not mistaken, right, correct. that they can, be, they can go to the to, to the convention this year because they want to engage and have young Democrats. Right. So anyone who is between the ages of 16 and 18, as you said, who will become age 18 by September 11th and the year you said, uh, 2018 was it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Will be able to um, become pre-registered. They pre-register as a Democrat. They will be able to do that online the day of the convention. And they would qualify as a delegate. If they're elected as a delegate, they would be um, able to go to they the convention. Able, because this year's is an issues convention. An issues convention, it's the party platform. It's information about organizing the party. We don't have a, a big election this year. We don't have the, the state election for the governor's race, the attorney generals. Right. We have all our important local elections, don't get me wrong. But if I was a kid back in the day, and I got involved when I was 14, I was dying to register to vote when I was 18, and I had to wait till my yeah. 18th birthday to go down to City Hall and do the registration. Hey, I go back to the days when they just changed the 18th birth, you know, to your 18th birthday, and you know, I think it was, yeah, I was able to vote at 18 because they changed it back then. But um, it's this is a new thing. It's encouraging youth to get involved in the political process up front. So what we have is the opportunity to get youth 16 through 18 involved in the process. And, you know, I think that if someone, you know, they'll be going through a whole process of being elected. But there's, you know, one of the things I'm going to be talking about is the process that if you're a youth, if you fit certain other categories, affirmative action categories, being senior citizen, disabled, you can apply even if you're not elected to be appointed. As an add-on delegate. As an add-on delegate. And I think we have veterans in there as well. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. So you got a nice little PowerPoint there that you did before you came in here. Kind of, you know, a reporter will say who, what, when, where, why, how. Yeah. You got first the details as we talked about. It, it's Saturday, um, this coming Saturday. Saturday on uh, I believe March 4th. 4th, right? Yeah. 11 o'clock, the doors open. We will direct people to the wards, you know, to their wards. There are going to be seven, seven separate ward caucuses. You know, and the ward caucuses, you know, will start at 12 o'clock. Right. You have to be in the door and in the room by 12 o'clock. Because we shut the door. That's the only closed door policy we have. You get to get in by a certain time. We give you a whole hour to get there. And then you got to be seated in the room and then... Those are the people that can participate. And if you look at www.brocktondems.org, right. you have the total number of delegates right. per ward. You can have, um, in some of the wards, it's nine. A couple of them, it's eight. It's based on right. voter participation. And then there are alternates. So even if you're not elected, you can be a delegate. Because right. chances are sometimes people... Things change, their lives change. If the delegate doesn't go that particular day, it is the same day. The only unfortunate date is the, the convention, June the 3rd, is 
the no, Brockton June, High School graduation. Is it June 3rd? Yeah, I think it's, you're it's right. A, June it's the 3rd. Saturday. It's the yeah. Brockton High School graduation. So yours truly has to be here with our crew to cover our important right. high school graduation. So it's tough to get to Lowell and get back, but not impossible. I've done it other I know. Days. Yeah, I've seen you do okay. <laughs> in there. So, so tell us who can participate. Who, who is okay. authorized? All eligible? registered d Democrats who reside in Brockton, youth 16 to 18 who are, who are pre-registered to vote as Democrats, and here's what, the new part, same day voter registration is allowed. So people who are not registered or are, un, or are registered as unenrolled or are in a other party but they can, can switch change to, the Democratic to being party. a Democrat and participate if they change the day of the caucus. And we'll have people at the door, you know, as you go in, Right. Checking voter registration and making changes. You know, I've got a crew of people that are going to help me out, and we're going to work this thing through. So it'll really be a lot of fun. Okay. So what's going to happen that day? What actually takes place that particular day? People go in the rooms. They they get nominated. Um, you know, it, it, if there's a contest, if there's a lot of people, then you have runoffs and all sorts. It's like it's like a regular election. It is. It's a mini election. What's going to happen is when people get there, each of the ward caucuses, as I said, will hold separate ward elections. Um, there's going to be a letter read from Gus Bickford, who's the party chair. And the ward chairs are going to explain the delicate allocation and the election process. You know, so they're going to be telling people basically what I'm going to be telling now. Now, the delegate allocation process, as Mark said earlier, is contingent upon the number of voters. So for example, the majority of wards in Brockton have nine people, mm -hmm. okay? So our affirmative action plank has a requirement that there be an equal distribution between women and men mm -hmm. participating. So if you've got, in Ward 1, there's nine delegates, you're going to have four delegates must be female and four must be men. So you're going to have a, and then the ward chair is the ninth delegate. And if you're, as you, you said, you're not able to attend, then there's going to be a, another election. So there's going to be an election for the woman. There's going to be an election for the men. Mm -hmm. And people have got to get the majority of the votes. Right. Otherwise, there's, there's a runoff, and it's going to work that way. So um, the, the ninth person could be either a male or female. Mm -hmm. And there'll be election for that as and well. And then the same with alternates. You have two and two, two men, two women. Right. Correct, for alternates. And alternates just take the place. They go to the convention. They participate. They don't actually vote at the convention unless one of the delegates doesn't show up. Yeah. And then they get upgraded to delegate. Yeah, it's... What do we have for time? We have two. We have one minute. Okay. okay. So let's do a quick wrap, Steve. So... Get contact information. Last time for the, um, the okay. The so, the, place. so the, in anyone that wants information, they can go to brockendems.org, mm -hmm. which is our website, and there's information about how to join the city committee. There's information about um, the Brockton, you know, caucuses, schedule of events. One of the things I think we really need to cover is delegate fees. Delegate fees are like um, seventy-five dollars right. if you are a regular person. Senior or disabled or students, fifty dollars. And, and if information. you can't pay the fees, there's, there's a waiver a fee process waiver. for that too. And one of the ideas that I think we're going to come up with is possibly scholarships. We'll be looking at using some funds for scholarships for well, people to go. A lot of work ahead of times. So I hope we get a good showing on on Saturday. And uh, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Um, you are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.